Good morning, friends. It's a bins day. I forgot to do my intro in the car like usual, so I'm literally standing outside the bins, a little bit away from the line, which is over there. <laughs> I cannot stay. Do not let me stay here too long today because Petey and I are going to the beach for the weekend, to the coast, so I need to get out of here before 12 o'clock. I was like, babe, should I even go? And he's like, yeah, you'll just have to miss like one rotation. I thought that was so cute that he knows that it's called like a rotation. At my bins, they rotate every 30 minutes. And I'm gonna dig through giant blue bins of clothing and pay $3.49 per pound. And I'm gonna sell this stuff on eBay and Poshmark. So I'll take you into the bins with me. We'll do a haul. We're gonna have a lot of fun. See you soon. See you soon. It's like I'm ending a, a love letter. <laughs> All right, friends, we'll do our first cart check-in. I just got here, I've only been here about 20 minutes. They haven't done any rotating. Here's my little cart. If you're wondering about this number, it's so that, that's the weight of the cart, so that when I pull up on the big scale, they deduct that from whatever the weight on the scale is. So when I first got here, I found a bunch of Lululemon. It's in there. Um, and I'll show it to you. Like, I found this sweater, and I'm like, this sweater just feels so good. Why does this sweater feel so good? No name brand. So I look and look around. This has happened to me so many times with Lululemon. Don't give up. Just be like, if it feels that good, boom. I personally don't like when they do the same color on the same color because it makes it so hard for me, but that's a really good, that's a really good find. And my friend Stephanie, Goddess Threads, is here who I haven't seen in a while. So she's over there. Love her. All right, so I kind of like the style on this intentionally distressed sweater. It's got stars on it. It's really like destroyed on purpose, but look at the name brand on this. Rehab. <laughs> like, I don't know. What do you guys think of the name Rehab for a brand? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe they mean it like DIY instead of like you're going to re rehab for drug and alcohol addiction. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this video going. It's actually sunny out. It's been raining for like five days here in Northern California and the sun is out. I have this enormous uh, Ikea bag for you. All right, friends, let's get right into this. I need stuff to steam and photograph and list. This is a Lululemon men's shirt. What a great find. There's that Lulu logo hit. Um, this looks very familiar or similar to the women's Run Swiftly top. Lululemon does not sell as well for me as it used to, but the Run Swiftly top, which looks made out of the same fabric and looks very similar, still sells for $35 or $40 and very quickly. This one's men's. You can tell by these stitches here. And usually on the bottom hem, there'll be a size and some pithy little quote. Wake up awesome. Sweat hard. Have a beer. Really? <laughs> I'm not making this up. Who comes up with these things for Lululemon? Okay, that's their job. And it says down here, I believe, large right here. So that's where to look on these men's shirts. This one looks like it has a camo arm. So I think that one's going to sell pretty good. I found this sweater in two colors. That is so funny. It's a free people sweater. I guess one woman dropped it off. It's extra small. It says free people on that bar. Extra small, but oversized. I'm going to say for this sweater, free people, women's extra small sweater. Open knit, oversized, slouchy, bohemian, and get that baby sold. I think I've sold that sweater before. This is me doing some vintage, and it's actually really good for vintage. Okay, here I am trying out some Y2K. Actually, this might be more 90s. Check it out. This is so 90s Y2K, this style. See this cap sleeve, and then uh, it's got like a sweetheart neckline. This is so, did you guys ever watch that show? What was it, the OG or something? This is what those girls would be wearing, and it's all that jazz. This is a pretty popular vintage brand, so this is going to be fun for me to come up with all those great keywords to list that baby. I love this brand right now. It's Lauren Ralph Lauren, and this is a 3X. So we have a good brand, Lauren Ralph Lauren. We have a good size. 
3X, and then a really great style. This is an open knit sweater. I love this color. Open knit long duster style cardigan. Absolutely love that. Here's that tag. I've been picking up almost anything in this. At the bins, I can pick up almost anything because it's so cheap. People have been asking. My bins is $3.49 per pound. When I first started going there, I would get these hauls and then I would count up every item in the haul. And then I would divide it by the total that I spent. And that's how I came up with a cost of goods. And my cost of goods, I say, is $2 an item. I'm guesstimating averaging. Sometimes, you know, it might come out a lot less, depending on how many items I get. But that's the best I can do, about $2 an item. Because, for example, like this, which I'll show you next, this vintage apron probably weighs four to six ounces. But this sweater probably weighs closer to a pound. But I'm not going to go through and weigh every item to figure out my exact cost of goods. I'm just going to say my cost of goods is about $2 an item. All right, this is a vintage thing I'm trying out. It's just, it's like a vintage house coat. Needs a good cleanup, but come on. It's so vintagey. Someone there said, oh, my grandma used to wear these. It's got embroidery. And check out, what is this? <laughs> Is this like fruit? Like what kind of fruit is? Is that a pumpkin? And they're little doggies maybe with hair? I just had to. I'm going to hand wash it. Then what I'm going to do is go on eBay and do a little research just for fun. I'm going to put like vintage house coat, pinafore apron, and I'm going to see what more knowledgeable people, people, what keywords they used and how they priced them and how they sold so that I can learn something. It's a great way to learn. You don't have to know everything. You just have to know how to look stuff up. Absolutely love this shirt. It's by Akemi and Kin. This is an anthropology brand. Look at that beautiful tag. Gotta love that about anthro. And uh, this is like a t-shirt, but it's an anthro t-shirt. It's blue, oversized, and then it's kind of a dolman, narrow arms, very wide. But it's also kind of a baby doll. I don't know if you can see, but it's mixed fabric. So the top feels like a t-shirt. Then this bottom panel is rayon or something. That's just so pretty. It's so artsy. I think that's a really cool top. I haven't seen this stuff in almost a week because I went to the bins last Friday, came home, showered, did all that, and then Petey and I went to the coast. Um, I live in Northern California, so we went to Highway 1. I'm doing this because <laughs> the roads are so curvy there. It's like mountains, tiny little highway, drop off to the ocean. It's pretty dramatic and stunning area, but I go there to just totally unplug. No phone, just relax, take walks, eat, eat a lot of food. <laughs> Friends, this is your friendly reminder to please subscribe to the channel and for that matter many of you lovely people are, are writing me comments and it has no name it just says user number one six seven three eight nine and then when you write again i don't even know it's you so all you have to do is create a username create an account on youtube and then you can subscribe to the channel and you'll know when new videos come out or if i go live you'll know you put, youtube is telling me that like 50 percent of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed so i'm going to ask you a favor please subscribe. It's free and it helps me and my channel grow so that I can make more videos about thrifting. <laughs> okay. Oh, and give a thumbs up while you're at it. Okay, my beautiful friends, we're doing something just a little bit differently today. Don't freak out. Change is sometimes good. <laughs> I am in my garage. It's Sunday morning. This is my inventory storage area. I store everything in bins by, by size and type of item. And once again, I find myself in the position of not having stuff to list. I just processed a huge um, I order that I got from Helpsy Source. That's who I use uh, for a wholesale company. So that always helps me because as a part-time reseller, I can't thrift like a few times a week like some of you get to do. So I use Helpsy Source. So I got through that big Everlane order and it's time to process some more inventory. So I'm just going to go through this bag with you. This is stuff that I got at the bins, and I need to put it on my rack and steam it and photograph it to keep this business running, to keep the eBay machine happy. So I'm just going to do this, some of this stuff this way. Let me know what you think. <laughs> 
Okay, this is one of the best things I think that I found. And it's a quilted, I think it's a blanket cover, but it's Pendleton. Pendleton is a classic brand with a lot of history in the U.S. I buy everything Pendleton, and I've sold everything Pendleton. I've sold pillowcases, blankets, blazers, skirt shirts. I think it's a classic brand that's always done well. This thing has a zipper. I'm going to go on their website to be sure that's what this is, but it's very beautifully made. It's an excellent condition. I'm assuming it's like a blanket cover, but we shall see. Now, I'm doing something new and different. Where do I put the stuff? <laughs> Usually when I do a haul in my living room with you guys, I just throw it in a big pile, but here we are. I guess I'll just put it on this table. This is stuff I got on Friday, and then we went away for a weekend, PD and I, to the coast, and I haven't seen it since then, so surprise for me. Ooh, nice. Lululemon high-waisted bike shorts. I'm going to guess these are the Align based on that curve. But I will double check these. Still have the rip tag. What? I was going to say these look like they're in really good shape. That's called a hang tag or a rip tag. It's designed to be cut out because who wants that there? It's rare to find anything that still has it. Size 6. So I'll get all the information. These are in gorgeous condition. Lululemon can get pills on it, wash wear, which you'll always want to know. But those look great. I've got a Free People sweater. I've sold this sweater before. I think I own this sweater. <laughs> It's like a lavender color, boxy cropped open knit. Here's the little tag that says furry people on the bar there. Fantastic. We have something interesting looking. I'm sorry this is wrinkly. I will steam it. I will um, photograph it here with my lights. There's a hanger on the white wall. I have a video that goes through my whole process. I've got a lot of comments um, lately with people saying, I'm so slow listing. How do you list 10 items a day, seven days a week? It's a struggle to be honest. Some days I'm doing it at like 10 o'clock at night, but I'm really trying, I'm really trying to do it. I've missed a couple days like around the holidays, Christmas and stuff, or when PD and I went away for the weekend that Saturday, I didn't list. I don't have like a, a backup draft of, um, eBay drafts, so I just am not ahead like that. That would be really smart. But um, I have that video, and then all, everything is linked in the words below this video, the description, like the lights I use, all my stuff, okay? This is a size extra large. The brand is La Academy, spelled a little different. I got this for style, really. It's like an oversized balloon sleeve. This looks so bad. <laughs> Sorry, just trust me. It's this is like this is gonna look great on somebody. It's a very cool mustardy brown color. Feels really good. Good style, good size. This is Torrid, and this is an older Torrid piece, but I didn't care. It's a 3X. That's just an older tag for them, right, guys? But super cute plus size mall brand. Super cute. It's it's a blouse, it's all smocking elastic like a baby doll style hem. Are those little pockets? Yes, that's adorable. 3X is a great size. This is new with tags. It feels amazing. I don't know this brand, but I love this thing. Everyday Yoga Wondrous Cheetah Wrap Dress. 10 cell Lyo cell, really good fabric. I haven't quite figured this thing out yet. <laughs> Someone come over and help. Okay, it feels so good. It's a zip front. It has a burgundy red wine. Oh my God, look how good it matches this Lululemon hoodie. Full zip, some sort of wrappy business. I'm gonna have to Google this to see how that's gonna fit. I got this Lululemon hoodie. It's my new favorite thing. I got it in a Help See Source box. I don't know if they still have Lululemon boxes on their site, but they did for a while. And I scored. I got a. They were kind. Of, they were expensive. I think the cost of goods was like twenty five dollars an item, but I got a size twelve jacket box. Sold all those jackets size twelve really quick. Um, made a little bit of money, not a lot, because the cost of goods was pretty high. And then I got to keep this for myself. Love it. Get yourself a scuba hoodie. This is beautiful. Good job, Quemby. Oh, how romantic! I'm putting romantic in my title. Ivory cream color, 
eyelet lace tiered dress smocking in the back and it's aster the label this is a really good brand aster the label really great style size small is there anything wrong with it i mean it looks like it's in really great condition see this fabric that's eyelet and i usually put both in my title i don't know how many people are sitting there searching for women's romantic eyelet dress they're probably going to search lace or romantic or something so i'm going to put both those in there all right these <laughs> Sometimes you gotta have a little fun with your reselling business, right? Okay, look at what's on these. Embroidered mushrooms. <laughs> I'm filming this in the winter of 2024. Mushrooms have been huge this year. Anything I've ever bought with a mushroom, I've bought mushroom artwork. People love it. These are Pack Sun, which is just a, a surf skate brand at the mall for like juniors, I think, young people anyway corduroy high-waisted pants with mushrooms i don't know maybe i can get 20 bucks for those someone's gonna want mushroom pants so now i've got a bunch of things that i can put right away on my man again and get going and then i'll film the rest of the haul for you guys tomorrow these are the north face base layer type leggings north face they're men's i'm trying to men's medium base layer pants okay the light in here is not great. It's sort of washing things out. I'm aware. But these are a rich black. Here's the North Face. The North Face is so expensive at the stores. Face layer long john and stuff I'll put in that. Ooh, what's this? I love this brand. I don't find this brand often. Do you guys? It's poetry. I don't know if some pieces are cared at anthropology. I don't even know exactly where it's sold. Everything I've picked up from the band brand poetry is sold for $40 or more. It's usually linen. I think I know I've sold a linen dress for $45. It was like a rust color. I've sold some very high-waisted corduroy pants for $40. This is a blazer and it's terribly wrinkly, wrinkly. I do apologize. Just trust me. It's a gorgeous blazer. It's a light gray. It has a peplum hem. Is this got linen in it? Yes, 50, 60 linen, 40 silk. This is a gorgeous item. So keep your eye out for this brand poetry. I wish I could show you this in a more beautiful way and you would just trust me and be like, oh, Quimby, that is so nice. Look at that detailing in the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it on my rack. I'm going to steam it. I'm going to wheel my rack over to here, put it on a hanger, take the photos. Then right here's my table a few steps away. I'm going to photograph the measurements. I'm going to get this stuff listed. Okay, I couldn't stand it with the wrinkly mess. I wanted to show you this beautiful poetry blazer. Now that it's all steamed up and it's going to look beautiful in my photos. It's really a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And here's that other dress that was so wrinkly. <laughs> I've had my steamer for like 12 years. The thing just keeps on kicking. It's the Salav. It's in the description section if you're interested in a steamer. Um, but anyway, those look a lot better now, right? Like, that's how they'll look when I photograph them. I show them to you straight out of the bins bag. I mean, like even this, the Torrid. I noticed, look at the hem. It's got all this embroidery on the hem. Like, that's adorable. Okay, so now I'm going to put my lights up and get this stuff photographed and listed i appreciate you guys so much for being here and sharing in this with me it would not be as much fun if i didn't get to share all this stuff with you a brand called love stitch and i have sold this particular dress from love stitch sorry it takes a second you guys i hold the tag up there and it takes a second for it to focus it says medium large when when it says medium large what i do is i put i i note that i take a photo of the tag i say the dress is a medium slash large. It measures more like a large. If I think it's more like a large, I'll put large in my title, large in the drop down. Now this is a gauze maxi. I think it might be called like their gauze maxi. I've sold it so many times. If you're in the market for a maxi dress, you guys, this is the one because it's like a, a very flattering, a deep V in the back and the front and then all loose with side pockets and it's got a crinkly gauzy. I just think this is a very flattering style on most people, so 
that might be a good one to look for. This is a Lululemon sweater. I, I remember now I found a good amount of Lululemon. Now, how the heck did I find this? Well, I just felt it. I'm in a bin, I'm digging, I'm like, wow, this feels good. But all you see is this. It's like, okay, it's sort of a greenish rib sweater, but it felt so good. And I was thinking, this feels like a Lulu piece. If you felt their sweaters, amazing. So then I, I look around and I find this little thing. It's like the same color too. Why do they do that to us? That's the Lululemon. So now I have to figure out what I'll do is I'll probably take a picture of this and go to Google Lens and see if any of you know the name of this. Oh, whoa, a tag. Oh, it's a size six. So this is a women's and it's merino wool and cotton. I have not seen this before of you guys. I know the classic Lululemon rip hang tag, but what's this? I have not seen a tag like that. Maybe this is a much newer piece. Feels awesome. Feels so good. This is an awesome brand to pick up. I pick it up in men's, women's, kids. I pick it up in size extra small and large. There's the logo to look for, and the brand is Cool. K-U-H-L. It's a very expensive brand. You're like, why are you showing me the butt of these? Because I thought, oh, I thought there was this. The embroidery, K-U-H-L, K-U-H-L. So these are a men's 3430, outdoor hiking, camping, cargo, pants. Expensive brand. This is Cloth and Stone. I personally love this brand, and this is a really cute piece from them. Most of the stuff they make is Tencel Lyocell, which is a very high quality fabric. And this is a button down and it's distressed looking, but then it has a peplum hem. See how it goes in at the waist and then out again? So that's a little unique detail on there. All right, we haven't even done one rotation yet and I would say this is a good bin stay. Um, did I tell you guys last week? I don't know if I shared this with you guys. Last week I was here and I'd been here for like a couple hours and this woman that I've seen here before comes up and she's like, um, Oh, is it a good bins day? I'm like, oh yeah, it's always a good bins day. She's like, oh, I, I'll know never to ask you again. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I said, oh, you know, as long as I stay for a few hours, I always end up finding good stuff. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, that's a great attitude, lady. Well, that's really not going to help you very much, is it? Okay. I wish you were here to give me a little bit of advice, but would you buy these pants? <laughs> these are corduroy pants. Wait for it. Look at what they have all over them. Little embroidered mushrooms. <laughs> They're Pack Sun, which is an okay. It's like a junior's mall surf skate type shop. Corduroys have been really popular. They're a high rise, kind of wide leg loose fit. Oh, there's a little something on them right there. But they literally have mushrooms all over them. Mushrooms have been very popular, you guys. So, I might be getting those. That's hilarious. So, this top is super cute. It's like a women's white t-shirt and it has a paint splatter, which I thought was adorable. It is Diletta, which is an anthropology brand. But I am going to pass on it simply because it's a pretty simple piece. It's a size small. Back in the day, I used to pick up everything anthropology, but now to pick up a t-shirt, I'm very selective. This, this is my maybe pile, and I'm thinking I'm not going to take most of my maybe pile today. I know I'm going to get a smaller haul today because I have to leave quite shortly, but I got some really good stuff in today's haul. I'm really happy with it. I love this brand. This is an anthro brand. It's one that has sold well for me in the past. It's Saturday, Sunday, and Saturday, Sunday is confusing because look at their tag. It says Saturday, Sunday, and then it says every other day of the week. <laughs> I just listed as Anthropology Saturday, Sunday, and it's their lounge line, like their, their comfy wear lounge. This is a blush pink open front cardigan sweatshirt. Again, with like a, a rayon panel. So the whole thing is made of sweatshirt material and it's open. And then there's this asymmetrical rayon panel. That's going to look cute on. It's going to be comfy. Here is a great bread and butter for me. It's J. Jill Wherever Collection. And this one's a large, so that's good. J. Jill Wherever Collection. This brand does the best in the larger sizes. 
And this one also has sort of like a baby doll hem on it. Black, long sleeves, super stretchy, super comfortable. Ooh, I see some linen. You guys know how I feel about that. I have no idea what this is. Like, <laughs> I'm looking in this bag. I'm like, did I buy this stuff? I guess I did. <laughs> Ooh, I love this brand, Hot Cotton by Mark Ware in a size large. This stuff sells so good for me, you guys. It's just like such a boho, boxy, lagging look style. This is a linen, is it a shirt or a blazer or what? It's a linen shirt, okay? Almost like a window pane plaid. It's oversized and long, and then it has these big buttons, these big exaggerated buttons, which lagging looky people, love okay to have a big contrasting button this doesn't look good right now but when i steam this up and i put it on my mannequin it's gonna be drapey long tunicky and it has got big slits this thing's awesome i might actually try that on <laughs> like oh i really like this this might be this might be for me anyhow any of you that are newer and you keep hearing me saying lag and look and you're like what the hell is lag and look Lag and look, just think of layering look. It comes out of Europe. It's a certain bohemian woman style. Think of a really cool art teacher. She has to move her hands like this. <laughs> art teachery. It's a lot of oversized tunics, wide leg pants, long skirts, and layering. You have a tunic and maybe a linen vest on top and some big long necklaces. It's very cool. It can be extremely expensive. It's definitely an artsy person style this feels amazing what are you oh this is a lululemon hoodie yes please a black lululemon hooded sweatshirt again black on black little lulu hit right there let's see if this one has any information i'll tell you what it feels amazing i wonder what style this is it's not a scuba hoodie because it's a pullover it feels so, so good. I'm digging around in the pockets. Here's a little mesh pocket. Nothing in there for size. Is there another mesh pocket? No, it would have been in there. Bummer, so I'll have to measure. To me, it looks like... Looks like it's probably a four. Small size four. Look at this thing. <laughs> I am so bright. I am neon pink windbreaker and I'm all sheared and ruched on the sides. I looked this brand up because I wasn't familiar. Sunice, size small, S-U-N-I-C-E. I think, I wanna say when I looked it up it was like a golf brand or something. I just like this too. Now I pass on a lot of golf stuff like so-and-so golf brand. I don't buy biking stuff. I know that some people have made money on um, stuff for cycling, like those shorts with the padded gusset and, and biking shirts where you can put water bottles in the pockets. I don't know anything about any of that. I'm not interested in it. There's probably money in it, but do I want to hang that up and list? No, I'm really not interested. So I pass on all that stuff. Um, but look into it if you're open to selling that stuff. There might be some good money in that stuff. Ooh, I see a really good print here. Look at that. Classic blue and white floral kind of bohemian print. This is Gap, and it's a size small. I bought this because it's a fantastic style. Really popular style. Maxi or midi dress, and it's tiered, you know, so it has like one tier and some stitching another tier. And I've been selling some Gap. You know, it's interesting. Because I'm at the bins, I've been picking up a little bit more Gap, if it's a style that I really love. I've also been picking up a little bit more Banana Republic. If I go to the thrift store and I'm flipping through, and my thrift store's all shirts are $7, let's say all dresses are 10, I'm not gonna pick up a Gap or a Banana Republic dress, unless for some reason it's got some really special thing. I don't rule anything out. But at the bins, I'm like, huh, and I've been selling it. I just sold a Gap, um, uh, a Gap sweater. I sold a Banana Republic blazer. I've sold a lot more Gap and Banana Republic, but I'm doing that because I can get it for like my $2 cost of goods. So it's pretty inexpensive, um, but it's interesting. I think I'm open to picking up a little bit more of that by brand. Oh, this is so cute. I love the Ralph Lauren stuff. Polo Ralph Lauren 3T little denim jacket. 
Polo Ralph Lauren, and look, it's got like a distressed American flag patch. This is so cute, it says Polo on it. I'll pick up some kids stuff if I can sell it for, um, you know, like $12, $15. This is a bra by the brand, is this the Fenty one? I pick up bras all the time, I sell a lot of bras. Oh, this is Savage Times Fenty. And I wanted to see if I could find that little tag to show you, but I usually sell sell bras for $15 plus $5.99 shipping because if they have padding or cups, I ship them in a box. And I just sell a lot of them. I sell like a few a week, it seems like. This is Savage Times Fenty. It's just a good bra brand. I look at these hooks. I want to make sure that they're not, nothing's bent or anything. I look to make sure there's not a whole lot of pilling. I don't want to have to wash them. I did that in the past and now I'm over it. So it's like, it has to be in good shape. People want their bras extremely clean. Oh, I got these for me because I have to go back to Boston at the end of February. <sighs> I was just there in November dealing with some family members. Family members? <laughs> that was some sort of slip. Dealing with some family matters. My dad passed away couple of years ago now. You guys that have been following the channel know about that. So we're having all these issues with his estate. So I've been traveling back and forth. It's not like I go on a thrifting trip where I can like meet up with people. It's really kind of a businessy trip. Um, and I have to go in February, which means it's going to be cold. It could possibly be snowing. I don't even have a jacket and boots for any of that. I don't go back to see my family in the winter anymore. I go in the summer or sometimes the fall is gorgeous. But that, I, I'm gonna need these. These are women's Patagonia Long John base layer leggings. That's just a little thing on there. Um, where did I see that these even were Patagonia? Oh, it must say it, it says it across the waistband and it might have a Patagonia hit on there. If I don't wear them, I'll just sell them. Oh, so cute. Talk about picking up <laughs> a few baby clothes. This is Hannah Anderson, a quilted like overall jumpsuit onesie thing. This is the Hannah Anderson tag. It's one of the few kids brands I will pick up. It's also how I got into reselling 12, more than 12 years ago. I got in to reselling because people had gifted my new, my baby boy, my son Torvald, Hannah Anderson pajamas. They were awesome. Quality is so good, organic, made in Peru. They washed really well. So when he got, when he outgrew them, I'm like, oh, I'll go online and get some more. They were $48 for a kid's set of pajamas. I was like, no. <laughs> so I found them on eBay. I found like someone was selling a pre-owned set of two for like $35. So I just started selling his clothes. And then I was making some pretty good money. So I started buying a few things for myself and then I started selling my clothes, and there you go, here 12 years later, I'm still doing it. This is Vic. Friends, I am interrupting the video because I'm doing some shipping, so I thought I'd just share a few of the things that sold over the weekend. I just finished packing this up, but I'll be sure to pop a picture up on the screen. This was vintage deer wear, and it sold for $75 plus $13.49 shipping. I found it at the bin, so I probably paid $6. My bins is $3.49 a pound. I don't know what made me pick this thing up. It just felt really good. The deer leather suede. And I use the keyword frontier wear. This thing sold immediately, you guys, in like 24 hours. I, I did take a low offer. Some of these were going for 150, 200 bucks, but I got it at the bins. I wanted to accept offers, kick my sales off. So great sale on this one. This this next sale's in my extra small pants bin. <laughs> I just listed these, Everlane. I love selling, selling Everlane. It's one of my best selling brands. I found these ones at the bins. They're a size two, the straight leg crop. They sold for $34.99 plus $8.49 shipping. But I have also bought several boxes from Helpsy Source, you guys. Um, they have new tag Everlane men's, women's, tops, bottoms, all different stuff. And it's been some of my best-selling stuff in 2023. So the cost of goods on those boxes are a little higher, but they've been new tags and I've made so much money on them. I think I have a video about it here on the channel somewhere, but I think it was, I think it's the best boxes I've bought from Help C Source. So if you're considering wholesale, make sure to find a brand that you know sells well for you.
You know what I mean? That's the most important thing. Um, and I love that Helps You Source does, you can shop by brand. Okay, I also sold this free people blazer for $20. It was a size zero. Doesn't that tag look kind of vintage? I don't know if it really is vintage or free people's just doing, reusing an older tag, but um, it was a size zero, so I let her go for $20 plus shipping. I don't know where the heck I got this. I've had this for a little while. I don't know if it was the bins or in a free people mystery box from Help See Source or what. And I have to share this one other sale because this is Style & Co. And I have a feeling when I'm doing my hauls and I'm holding up Style & Go tops, people are like, ugh, you know, it's a Macy's brand. There's nothing crazy great about it, but they make these peasant tops. I own a few myself. This one's a 3X and it's sold on Poshmark for $25 plus shipping for a pre-owned Style & Co top. I mean, my guess is they retail around $50. Um, Actually, I could answer that question right now because over here on my rack, this is Goodwill Pile, I have this Style & Co top that I just bought at the bins, and it's a Newwood Tag XXL. And so what does it say on the tag? Oh, it doesn't tell us. I was hoping. But my guess is these things are like retailing for 50 something nothing amazing but if you can find plus size style and co tops that are cute style you can make 25 bucks on them still doing it this is victoria's secret it's a size medium and it's a little nighty i picked these up little lace nighty here's a green sweater why did you buy this green sweater oh because it's a j jill Great mature women's brand, great bread and butter brand for me, and it's an XL, so good brand, good size, decent style. These are some cute Athleta Letta, Athleta size medium leggings. They're full length, and they're like black metallic. They have a drawstring in them, and it says Athleta size medium. Those don't sell as well as they used to, but I still can't resist them. We have some We The Free, Free People size 25 denim skirt, button flying, and look at that cool accent buckle on the back. Oh no, I've got to show you this. This thing's awesome. <laughs> in my last haul, I had something in it from Solitaire. I really like the brand Solitaire to wear personally. If you can't afford like the Johnny was or even the Free People Solitaire, I think it might be boutique. And they make great embroidered tops and dresses and all the types of peasant tops that I like, um, but at a much cheaper price point. And this is a fringe jacket, a fringe vest. It's faux suede. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yes, yes, yes. I'll put festival in my title or we'll see. What are those festivals, those things that, that um, people go to to see bands and everything? Oh my God. Like, the, not with this shirt, but you can get it. With some big flare jeans, a big belt buckle, a cool hat like the one I had in my last video. This, look at this. I love this. Oh, it's just Old Navy, but that's okay. I sell Old Navy because this is so cool. It's an Old Navy size large, bright orange tiered dress with a balloon sleeve. It goes up to an elastic there. Balloon sleeve, lace up detail in the front. And it's new with tags. So there you go. Great style. You're not going to make a ton of money. You're not going to get rich off Old Navy. But can I get $15 to $20 for that? Sure. Sure I can. It's another love stitch dress. <laughs> I've bought so many of these. Love stitch again, size large. It's that same style. It's a long, maxi, bohemian sort of deal. This one's a little different, is it? Might just all be the same style. No, this one is a little bit different neckline because look at the back. It's got like a T, a T back strap, long, long tie dye, olive green and black. That's going to be great. Whoa, I bought a big heavy jacket. Oh, I love this jacket. I just sold. Did you, do you guys remember I got an American Eagle? flannel shacket jacket. It was heavyweight flannel. It had a hood. 
I just took a chance on it. it. Looked very Y2K. It was a great style. Sold for $30, plus they had to pay $13.49. So I took a chance on this American Eagle. This is a denim jacket. And then it has this bandana lining and a hood. This thing's awesome. It's heavyweight. So now I probably had to pay $6. This is probably two pounds. So I probably paid $7, but I think that this will sell pretty good. I mean, it's pretty substantial. It's all distressed on purpose. It's a men's medium, but it's oversized. I love that thing. Oh, I got some more vintage. <laughs> I went to high school in the 90s, middle school in the late 80s, and I think I had a pair of these. <laughs> oh gosh, isn't it fun, you guys? Check out these Gap jeans. Acid stone washed, high rise mom jeans with a zipper ankle. Shut up, it's so good. Look at the zipper at the ankle. Here's the old gap tag. Gap. So with a vintage, what are the, I don't even know if these have a size. 11, 12, 100% cotton, so they're rigid denim. They're not going to stretch. So... I will definitely do measurements. Measurements on vintage, because this is not an 1112 by any stretch. These are probably like a 24 or something. But those are those are awesome. Those are the real deal. Okay, a couple more things left. What's that? What is this? Oh, it's just a fabric square in the bag. No idea. <clears throat> Okay, thank you for being here. I love you guys. And got the last couple items and hopefully some bloopers. Ooh, this is gorgeous. This is a scarf and it must be cashmere or angora or mohair or something because it's fuzzy. I hope it has a tag on it. Oh, because it's hard to sell without a tag. <clears throat> I can do it. Oh, it's 100% alpaca from Andy's Gifts. So it's not really a great brand or anything. I don't know what Andy's Gifts is. But a 100% alpaca infinity scarf, when it's sewn in a circle like this and you can put it on like an infinity, it's an infinity scarf. This thing's awesome. What is it? Oh, I looked this up. A structured gigam black and white print baby doll top. And the brand is Veronica Beckham for Target. Some of these collabs, though, still sell well. So the designer is Veronica Beckham. And... It's a collab with Target. I looked this up because I because some of the collabs do great. I just sold a Missoni for for Target skirt, black maxi skirt for $45. It was sold at Target, okay? So some of them still do good, but look them up because not all of them. But this one, I remember looking it up. I can't remember the exact comps. This thing feels like no one wore it. So there you go. Another haul down. We did it. I appreciate you being here. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And we're going to get into the haul portion. You guys, I just actually sprayed perfume on for this video. Tell me how <laughs> that makes any sense. Can you guys smell me and my classic Shalimar? <laughs> I did it for you. It feels like we're hanging out, like we're just friends in my living room, going through stuff I got at the thrift store, doesn't it? But you can't actually smell me. <laughs> I smell good though. Let me move this. Is that where my head is? I have still not figured out this AF. What's that mean? MF? No. AF. I don't know, friends. Is this shirt like super see-through? That would not be great, but what are you gonna do? I don't know. Oh, in what other, whatever I do. <laughs> what? Try again. Try again. I'll see you in whatever part of the video is coming next. Maybe some more bins clips. Maybe some more haul. I don't know how I'll work this piece in, but let me know <laughs> what you think of the little bit of real life garagey haul. Love you guys. <sighs> it's kind of neat. It's got this, it's a cardigan with this giant button. Does that even fit in this hole? Uh oh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> I'll have to figure this out. It's an open front sweater, and then it has this enormous button and pockets in the front. But then I'm looking at the hole. I'm like, how do I get that giant button in that little hole? Is that right? <laughs> oh, you guys, thank you.
for being here with me as I struggle to figure out these things. No, I'm telling you, this button does not go in that hole. I wonder if someone put this button on. Oh, bother. <laughs> Who said that? Was it Winnie the Pooh? Oh, bother. Well, was it the last video you guys saw? These videos are so behind. But in one of my videos recently, <laughs> my mom got me a free people hat and everybody loved it and it would go great with that vest. <sighs> All right, see, so now I've got a whole, I've, I've got what, like 10 or 15 things here? No, it hasn't been that many, 10 things. I don't know, just, just keep moving, Q.